Want to know more about the Siamese cats? The Siamese is one of the most recognizable cat breeds in the world. Their elegant bodies, striking blue eyes, and glossy coats showcase a beauty that is unlike any other. But their looks are not the only reason why they're so popular in the cat community. They also have wonderful personalities that make them great companions. But that's not all. Welcome to Fuzz Feed. This is where you'll get your daily dose of fuzz. Today we're talking about 11 interesting facts about the Siamese cats. Number 1. Temperature affects their coats. What? If you've never seen a Siamese kitten, you'll be surprised to learn that they are born totally white. This breed has a modifier gene, called a Siamese allele, that causes albinism. They later go on to develop their signature markings at about four weeks old. Now, you might be thinking, if they're born albino, why don't they stay like that? Siamese cats are actually temperature-sensitive albinos. The Siamese allele can only inhibit pigment in a cat's fur between 100 and 102.5 degrees. So, while the warm environment of the womb is enough to keep their special gene in action, the environment of the world after they are born is cool and is not enough to keep this gene activated. Once a Siamese cat's body drops below 100 degrees, genes for coat color kick back in and carry the pigment into the fur. As a side note, when looking at a Siamese, you'll notice that they have a darker shade of fur around the ears, nose, paws, and tail. This is because a cat's body is naturally cooler around those areas. Likewise, their torsos are lighter because that area is warmer. Did you know about this already, or is this new knowledge to you? Number 2. Their eyes are technically colorless. By now you may have realized that a lot of Siamese cats have blue eyes. And that's no coincidence, because all true Siamese cats have blue eyes. As mentioned earlier, Siamese cats have a special modifier gene that causes albinism. That same gene is also responsible for their blue eyes, or the lack of pigment in their eyes. Scientifically, the eye of a Siamese has no pigment. There are two layers in the iris of the eye that determines their color. The stroma and the epithelium. Pigmented cells are usually in both of these layers, or for cats with blue eyes, pigmented cells are in the lower epithelial layer. But Siamese cats don't have pigment in either layer meaning that their eyes are, technically, colorless. But their eyes appear blue, because blue light is the main light that bounces around the stroma layer. Since, blue light has the shortest wavelength in the visible light spectrum. That's the color we see. As a side note, violet light actually has the shortest wavelength, but since the human eyes can't see violet very well, that color looks blue to us. Interesting, isn't it? Number 3. The Siamese used to look different. Although, the Siamese is known for their slender bodies, triangular faces, and distinct markings. They used to look quite different. The original Siamese cat had stocky bodies and round faces. But sometime in the mid-20th century, breeders favored an elongated look. Slowly but surely, they worked to turn the breed into the modern Siamese we know today. Traditional Siamese cats are still bred by some, but they aren't as common anymore. Believe it or not, Siamese cats used to have crossed eyes and crooked tails. This look was natural to the breed, but breeders managed to eliminate these quirks through selective breeding. Which is why modern Siamese typically don't have crossed eyes. Today, it's uncommon to find a Siamese with these quirky traits, but they still do exist. Number 4. They are nicknamed Measers. Siamese cats are dubbed as a very talkative breed. These cats usually love to tell you about their day and are not afraid to voice their opinions. If a Siamese feels like they aren't getting enough attention, rest assured that they will make that complaint loud and clear. Since this breed is so vocal, their persona may come off as needy or even demanding to some. So if you're looking for a quiet cat, this cat might not be the right option for you. But, Siamese lovers will tell you that their vocal natures add an irresistible charm to this breed. On top of being talkative, the Siamese also has a distinct low-pitched meow. 
Since this meow sounds like whining, it is often compared to the cries of a human baby. The Siamese meow actually has a name, and it's Miser. With this in mind, it makes sense that the Siamese cats themselves are nicknamed Misers. It turns out that, the slang term stems from the last part of the word Siamese, if you see it. Now, that we think of it, Miser isn't such a bad name for a Siamese, if you plan to get one. Number 5. The breed originated in Thailand. The Siamese cat originated in ancient Thailand. Thailand was formerly known as Siam. Although, the exact year of this breed's origin is debated. It's clear that these Misers have been around for a very long time. How do we know? Well, the first depiction of a Siamese was found in the collection of ancient manuscripts, called Temer Mayu, which is translated to the Cat Book Poems. These manuscripts are thought to be from sometime between the 14th and the 18th century. Today, these ancient manuscripts are preserved at the National Library of Thailand, British Library, and National Library of Australia. The poems for the traditional Siamese cat, or Thai cat, says that these cats are as rare as gold, and the owner of this cat will be wealthy. Number 6. They were treated like royalty. Back in the day, royal families in Thailand thought highly of Siamese cats. Because of their distinctive and beautiful looks. Royal families even believed that a Siamese cat would receive the soul of a family member when they passed away. Because of this, belief a Siamese cat would spend the rest of his or her life living in a temple and being treated like royalty by monks. Personally, we believe that the Siamese cats have not forgotten this and still expect to be treated like royalty. Number 7. The first Siamese to come to America became a first cat. In 1879, a female Siamese was gifted to President Rutherford B. Hayes' wife. David Sickles, a U.S. diplomat serving in Thailand, gave the Siamese to Mrs. Hayes because she loved cats. In the letter to Mrs. Hayes he wrote, I have taken the liberty of forwarding you one of the most finest specimens of Siamese cats that I have been able to procure in this country. The cat was named Siam. And Siam is believed to be the first Siamese cat that was ever brought to the United States, this means that the first Siamese was also a first cat of the United States. Talk about a lot of firsts. According to Rutherford B. Hayes Library and Museums, Siam adjusted to White House life quickly. She was also said to be favored by Fanny Hayes, the president's daughter and the White House staff. Sadly Siam became seriously ill after nine months, while the Hayes family was away. The staff called the president's personal doctor, because the doctor was as a fellow pet lover. D.R. Baxter even took Siam to his own home, but despite his efforts, she was only able to survive for another five days. Number 8. The Siamese is allergy-friendly to some. Cat allergies are driven by the presence of the Fel D1 protein, which is found in a cat's saliva, urine, and dander. Dancer is the dried flakes of skin. But, if you are a cat lover with a cat allergy, not all hope is lost because some breeds produce less of this protein than others. This means that, your allergies might be able to tolerate certain breeds. But just to be clear, no cat is truly hypoallergenic. Some breeds are simply less likely to trigger allergies than others, with the Siamese being one of them. This is because the Siamese is one of the breeds that releases smaller amounts of this protein. Also, Siamese cats shed significantly less than other breeds which minimizes the amount of Fel D1 protein released into the environment. But if you are allergic to cats there is no guarantee you won't have any symptoms around a Siamese. So if you're thinking about adopting one, it's important to first expose yourself to the breed as much as possible. Number 9. They uncovered spies. In the 1960s, Two Siamese cats uncovered an espionage plot at the Dutch embassy in Russia. Yes, really. As the story goes, the cat suddenly started clawing at the wall and arching their backs at it. Ambassador Henry Helb suspected that the cats could hear something that he couldn't. Lo and behold, an investigation revealed that there were numerous hidden microphones behind the wall. Ambassador Helb and his staff decided to use the discovery to their advantage 
so they complained about things, like packages stuck in customs, and embassy repairs. As a result, these problems were mysteriously resolved within a day. Number 10. They are social beings. This breed is also known for being more social than other cats. Siamese cats are known for forming close bonds with their owners. They also require more attention than other breeds. For this reason, it's often recommended to adopt Siamese in pairs, or have at least one other cat. This way, they'll always have a buddy to talk to when their owners aren't home. Their love of people makes them the perfect companions, so if you're looking for a talkative buddy that loves attention, the Siamese might be the perfect option for you. Number 11. A Siamese had 19 kittens. A Burmese Siamese cat in Oxfordshire, UK, made the Guinness Book of World Records by having the world's largest litter of domestic cats. The cat gave birth to 19 kids, although, four of which, were unfortunately, stillborn. For comparison, the average number of kittens for a cat of this type is only 4 to 6. But that's it for now. So what did you think? Did you find these facts interesting? And we'd love to know how many facts did you already know? Let us know in the comments below. And if you know something we don't? Go ahead and comment below. If you liked our content, give us a like to let us know, hit the bell to get notifications, and subscribe to FuzzFeed for your daily dose of fuzz.